Director provides some features that let you handle and assign IFB sources by a press of a key on the panel, without the need for additional hardware. To configure IFBs, you click on the little IFB button in Director's toolbar. The IFB table shows up. It has 10 columns. This is where you configure your IFBs. The order of these columns can be rearranged and might be different in your director. With the right click on a column, you can also rename it. This might help you to change the column names to something that would be more common in your production environment. These names are stored in the configuration. In my case, I would like to change the column input to PFL. Let's look at the columns one by one. The first one is just a number. Since you can sort all IFBs by any column up and down, it might make sense to give them all a number to bring them eventually back into the original order. The next column would be the name of the IFB. This is similar to the long name of a panel. The key label is like the local 8 character label of a port. This will show up on a key display when you put this IFB on a key of a panel later. The output is basically the output port for this IFB. This can be a physical port where you connect the in-ear monitoring of a talent or in case you use this IFB for a phone line this would be your virtual 4-wire which represents the phone line of your phone codec. The mix minus is your default program feed that goes to the IFB. This is the source that later will be interrupted or rather dimmed when somebody talks to the IFB. Input, or here PFL, is an optional input that you can use for monitoring purposes. To stick with our examples, in case of a talent, this would be the feed from the talent's microphone, which we get PFL from the audio console, for example via MADI. With this, a person on a panel can directly talk back and forth to a talent off-air. In case of the phone line, this would be, of course, your incoming audio from the phone line. In and output gain lets you control the gain of those ports. The dim level is the amount that that mix minus or program feed will be dimmed when somebody talks to this IFB. The online cross-point level lets you control the level of the mix minus that is going to the IFB. The button Add adds a new IFB with the number that shows in the field next to it. Clear will clear all parameters of the highlighted IFB, whereas Delete will delete the whole IFB. With Close, you leave the IFB setup. Don't forget to upload your configuration to the system. This will immediately activate the IFBs and bring the program feeds to the IFB outputs. You will find those cross points as little green triangles in the cross point view. To learn how to set up IFBs on a panel, watch the IFB assignment and key panel setup video tutorial.